Outside of e-ink smartphones and e-ink phones used for e-reading, there aren't any really tiny e-readers. There was the Kobo Mini, which was a 5-inch, and there's this, the Xiaomi Moan Ink Palm 5. Despite its name, no, it is not a 5-inch, it is a 5.2. This is, for all intents and purposes, an up-to-date, most recent e-ink 2021 model. It's not a spec-heavy powerhouse, but it does have Android 8.1. It's really small and actually if you look at the box here and put it next to a regular flagship smartphone It's really tiny. This is a tiny little box and it's a very cool form factor to, when you look at retail packaging You do have to put into consideration what they do with the images if they have reflectivity if they have a hard cardstock And you may not think this is important But it really does show what the end product is going to be like and companies that don't have good packaging And they just have very little care they end up not having a good product in the end but this is well packaged and it looks like it might be a throwback to the Kobo Mini which is pretty much the only small e-reader now that's a subjective thing because like I said earlier a lot of people say well I can read on my smartphone and that's small well yeah but this is truly a dedicated e-ink reader that is not a smartphone and it's and it's a five inch that's really cool Opening up this little box here, we have some documentation and it looks like they give you a screen protector as well with a USB-C and that is a small USB-C, that's got to be like 6 inches long so that's pretty small. And here, that's it, that's the whole box and that's the whole experience. Here's this thing, look how small this is. It is very much the same form factor as a smartphone as I can see, it has the rounded edges, it's very flat. It does feel like it is very much a smartphone. This thing is so small! Wow, look at that! That is so interesting to hold. So everything about holding this Tell it just screams bar smartphone, but it isn't because it doesn't have an earpiece, it doesn't have a mouthpiece, it's got the outer bezel with a nice flush screen, and it's got the gloss on the outside with the, the two tone color, the black on the kind of uh, aluminum blue. It doesn't have any cert stamps at the back, no certification stamps whatsoever. It's got a little LED indicator on the bottom, and then the power button and the volume up and down. That is it. This thing definitely holds up to the name in terms of what it is. This is an ink palm. This fits directly in the palm of your hand. And again, what well, now that this is open, we're going to put this up against my flagship smartphone. This is from a couple years back. This is an uh, Asus Zenfone 5Z. So it's a fairly big phone for all intents and purposes. And this is a very small e-reader. This is really, really cool. This is a very nice form factor. Of course, we will get into a full review. We're just showing you that this thing does turn on and it does function. It does have various color and contrast settings as well. So you can turn the backlight on and off, the temperature sensor, the contrast up, and it does have volume as well that connects wirelessly via Bluetooth. It doesn't have any speakers on here. So this thing is really cool. It's about $150 depending on where you're getting it and it does ship anywhere in the world from good e-readers store. So stay tuned for a full review on this. The Moan Ink Palm 5. A throwback to the old school really really small e-readers that were few and far between. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter.